Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Today we are going to create a 3D card effect inside of HitFilm Express. To get started, we'll create a new composite shot and let's call this main. For the duration, we'll go with 6 seconds long and click on OK. Let's real quick create a new background. So let's create a new plane layer. I'm going to call it BG for background. Let's give it a black color and click on OK. I'm going to go to effects and search for radial gradient and apply it on this layer. And I'm just going to change some settings. So let's go to out radius, set the opacity to 100, change the color and make it a little bit darker. Click on OK. And for the inner radius, we can change its color as well. So let's use the same color and a bit of a lighter shade. And I'm going to just put it in the top left over here. You can place it anywhere that you want. And I'll just increase the size. All right. So there is our background. Now let's create our card and uh, for that we'll create a new plane layer and I'm going to call this outline. So let's first create our outline and I'm going to just apply a white color to this. For the width we'll go for 450 and for the height we will go for 700 and see how that looks. All right? maybe we'll just change that to 750 and click on OK. And now on this outline layer, I'm going to apply a round rectangle mask. So make sure this layer is selected and click and hold on this icon and you should see round rectangle mask. Just uh, double click on this icon again to apply round rectangle. Make sure that the layer is selected first and then apply it. I'm going to set the corner radius to 12 pixels, but you can change it to your liking. And then I'm just going to duplicate the mask, set the blend to subtract. And on the second mask, I'm going to go to shape, unlink the scale, and I'll just scale this independently. So I'm going to set this to 97 and 98. Right, that looks fine. And now I can just duplicate this outlined layer, and I'm going to call this body. And I'm just going to expand it, go to mask and delete the second mask from here. And just to differentiate it from the outline, I'm actually going to apply fill color on this. So apply fill color on the outline layer and change the color and just move it to the top. So our outline will be at the top and then there will be our body. All right, good. Now what we can do is we can select these two layers turn them into 3D plane, click on yes to add a camera. Now we have a camera over here. Let's create a new point layer, make it 3D as well. And let's call this cam control. Make sure the camera is parented to the cam control layer. Now we can just animate this rotation Y. Set this to 50. Move to 4 second. Set this to negative 50. Go to the last frame and set this to zero. I'm going to select all the keyframes. Go to the keyframes to manual bezier. Going to value graph, hold the shift key and just drag all these handles to the left. And you'll have an animation like this. By the way, you can turn off the floor plane. You can just click on this icon and that will get rid of it. Now we have to drag in our media. So since we are going for kind of a phone look, phone lock screen look. So what we can do is we can just drag in our background and let's just rename this to wallpaper and we'll just scale it down like so and just make sure that it is 3D plane as well. Now I should have similar kind of animation, pretty good. Now what we can do is we can, we need to make sure that this wallpaper is inside the body plane layer over here and for that we will use set mat effect so search for set mat and apply it onto your wallpaper layer expand it set the source layer to body and set the blend to subtract and click on the invert option now we have our image inside that shape but you might have noticed our rounded corners have disappeared and uh, and that is because we have applied the set mat layer and when we set the source layer to the body layer, 
and in the body layer we have mask applied sitmat doesn't like uh, masks within the same composition i don't know why but instead uh, what we are going to do is right click on the body layer itself and click on make composite shot and we can call it body comp or whatever i'm going to select this option move with layer which is essential so it will essentially what we'll do is move the mask from the body plane layer into a new comp so i'm going to click on ok and you can see in this body comp we have this mask over here if we go back to our main comp we can see that our rounded corners are there and that's what we want and by the way you have to also click on the layer dimensions icon on the body comp and make it 3d plane and that should work absolutely fine now we don't have that parallax effect so for that what we have to do is go to transform and just push it back in the z space so we are in the wallpaper layer over here and i'm going to go to position set it to negative 200 and it will just push it back and on the body comp over here we can just disable or hide that layer like so and now if you check it out we have this simple parallax animation going on now what we can do is add more elements into our scene so i'm going to add this uh, icon over here and just make sure that the outline layer is on top of everything and yeah so we can go to this icon over here and make sure that it is on top of the wallpaper go to transform and just scale it down and just resize it to any size that you want so i'm going to set this to 15 and i'm just going to bring it in the center over here and just make sure that it is 3d all right so if you take a look at it you should see something like this and you can see the depth being created in our scene all right cool now i can drag in another icon and i can copy attributes from the previous icon and paste it into the new icon over here so click on paste attributes click on paste and just make sure that it is 3d plane and just change its position like so i can duplicate or maybe bring in another icon again right click click on paste attributes make sure it is 3d plane and just push it to the right side of the icon and you should see something like this all right now i can add more elements such as text layer and I'm going to put some time indicator over here and I can select that go to text tab over here and increase the size place it anywhere that you want can change the color and all that stuff all right so if you take a look at it and just make sure that this tree this text layer is 3d plane I should see something like this all right so I just want to clarify one more thing if you have some elements that are going outside the frame so for example if i just select this text go to transform and push it up on the z-axis and then play it again you can see that our text is outside the frame of our card and if you want to if you want the text to stay inside the frame then all you have to do is just apply another set matte effect on it and set the source layer to bg comp blend to subtract and click on the invert checkbox and that will uh, put your image within the shape over here then you can see that our text is uh, overlapping the outline as well and well that is because of the size of our uh, body comp over here you can see the size is as same as our outline layer so what we have to do is just go to transform scale unlink it and we'll just resize it from the top and from the top and bottom and from the left and right so if now if you take a look at it it should be within that uh, frame of body comp so yeah, that's just about how you can you know make your elements stay within the frame but what i'm going to do is i'm going to delete the set mat from here and set it back to zero on the z-axis cool now what we can do is add more elements i'm going to add one more element which is this media player thing so again put it under the outline layer and apply 
a demult effect on this because this um, has a black background so search for demult to get rid of that black background and i can make sure that this is 3d plane and i can rename this to i don't know widget or something all right so if you take a look at it this is how it is going to look but i'm going to create a little bit of more depth by just pushing it back in the z space so i'm going to go to position and set this to negative 80. all right and i'm going to also scale it down a little bit so it should look something like that right so if you move it back a little bit more so let's set this to negative 100 then you're going to notice that it spills out of the frame and again as i said before if any element spills out of the frame then all you have to do is search for set mat and apply it on that layer and set the source layer to bg comp set the blend to subtract and click on the invert option over here and it will stay within that frame right so now you can add an, as many elements as you want inside this scene and uh, you can make it as complex as you wanted but i think this is enough for this video uh, lastly what we are going to do is add some shine reflection to this so i can just drag in this background layer and put it at the top i'm going to call it shine and apply a fill color on this and I'm going to apply a mask on this as well. So again, click and hold on this icon. And from this list, this time I'm going to choose rectangle mask. Double click to apply it. Expand the mask, transform and unlink the scale and just scale it down. I'm going to set this to around 3%. All right. And I'm going to extend the size as well. The length. I'm going to rotate it as well. All right. Something like that and go to shape and expand the feather strength like so i'm going to right click on this layer blend and set that to soft light now you should see that reflection inside your scene but as you can see the reflection spills out and uh, we want to crop it within this uh, image over here so again we'll just search for set mat apply it and set the source layer to body comp blend to subtract and the also have to click on the invert option now we all you have to do is animate this so i'm going to create a keyframe on position move forward to two second and you can change its position so let's just well uh did it on the mask itself so i'm just going to undo that i'm going to do it right on the transform outside the mask so go to the very first frame create a keyframe on position Go to two second in time and we can change the position and move it to the top left like so and the, on the first frame we just move it in the bo bottom right corner so we have something like that and go to the four second mark change the position again like so and on the last frame we'll just put it maybe somewhere over here I'm going to select these four keyframes from the keyframes to manual bezier and create a similar graph as we did before so just drag these handles to the left and if you play this this is how it is going to look looks pretty neat right so that's just about it that's how you can create a 3d card effect inside of it film I hope this video is helpful. I hope you learned something new. If it did, then please make sure you leave a like and also subscribe to the channel. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you guys in the next one.